Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm with the Welland Public Library bringing you another grab and go activity. Now, if you've joined us before, uh, you know that the Welland Library is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. And to help celebrate the anniversary, I thought that we should explore some celebrations that happen around the world. So we'll be looking at a celebration that happens around the world again today. Previously, we have gone to New Orleans uh, over here in the United States to talk about Mardi Gras. We also visited China to talk about Chinese New Year and India to talk about the Holi Festival. And this month, we're going to be talking about Songkran Festival. Now, Songkran is happening in South Asia, which is this general area of the world over here. But we're going to focus mostly on how it's celebrated here in Thailand. So we'll be visiting Thailand virtually today. So Songkran is a Buddhist festival uh, that happens to celebrate the Thai New Year. Uh, now this is a time of change uh, and Songkran is actually a Sanskrit word that actually literally means passage or changing. So uh, to celebrate that, uh, people in Thailand do a few different things. Um, it is a very special national holiday where there are several days off uh, that people get. And part of that celebration includes people that have moved away from their families, returning home, visiting with family, um, and spending uh, three or four days there. So Songkran always uh, happens on April 13th, uh, but it also happens uh, or continues on until the 14th, 15th, 16th. And uh, in some provinces in Thailand, it even begins on the 12th. Now, uh, aside from just returning home and visiting your elders, um, people will visit Buddhist temples. And one of the things that they do at Buddhist temples is bring back sand. So there is an idea from Buddhist philosophy that every time you visit the temple, you take something with you. Uh, and so it's a symbolic gesture of bringing back sand to the temple to help repair the temple um, so that it uh, can be made new. Um, people also bring flowers and food to the Buddhist monks uh, at the uh, temples. And there's great celebrations with wide food arrays and uh, things like that celebrated that way. As well, uh, we happen to have um, uh, flowers that uh, they put in bowls and then they watch them sort of spread open uh, as well. Now, the last part about the uh, Songkran festival that I'm going to talk about is the splashing of water. So water is a symbolic way to cleanse ourselves or, or literal way to cleanse ourselves. Um, and it's about getting rid of the old and passing the new and Water will be poured over Buddhist um, statues, particularly of Buddha, and they'll also pour it on the monks in a uh, uh, symbolic and meaningful way. And in modern years, Songkran has sort of become a little more secular and it's developed into a lot of water fights. Uh, so there are huge passages in Bangkok and other major cities in Thailand where they shut down roads and people just get out, uh, you know, different uh, things to splash water at each other. So they may have a super soaker or they may have buckets of water uh, and they just splash people. So uh, if you are visiting uh, Thailand during this time, you are guaranteed to get wet. Now for our activity today, I have two different crafts for you. The first one uh, you are going, or what's in your kit actually, let's talk about that first. So you're gonna have some flowers that I have cut out using our Cricut machine. Uh, and you are also going to have a plastic bottle with a cap. Uh, now, if you joined us last week for our abacus, you know that uh, April also has Earth Day. And part of the way that we're trying to honor Earth Day here at the Welland Public Library is to use upcycle crafts. So we're trying to, instead of putting things right originally into our recycling, 
uh, using things one more time in a different way to give it a little more use. So that's why we'll be using the plastic bottle. Uh, from home, what you're going to need um, are some washable markers like this. And you're also going to need some permanent markers such as Sharpies. You'll need a bowl and you'll also need some water. So to begin with, what you're going to do is you're going to take these flowers um, that uh, you have in your package and you're going to color all over them. So on this one you can see that I put uh, some red and some blue marking and I did this with my washable markers. So it's important to use the washable markers here because we're going to put them in water and we want to use the water later. So uh, the washable markers are non-toxic. They, if they get on your clothes or we can use the water to feed our plants uh, and that way we're safe that way. So uh, once you've decorated your flower the way you want, you're going to fold up the petals. So it looks like the flower hasn't quite bloomed yet. And you'll be noticing lots of flowers now that we're entering warmer weather, lots of flowers starting to peek out of the earth, but not blooming yet. So just fold it up like that. And then you're gonna pour some water into your bowl and then you're gonna place it inside your bowl, like that. And what will happen is, your flower will start to open up and bloom inside of your water. So here's mine, it's now bloomed inside of my water. And that sort of represents the flowers that they would place in bowls in the Buddhist temples um, during this time. And you can put uh, one flower in each bowl if you have several small bowls, or you can put them all in one large bowl or put one in, wait till it's, uh, really like wait a week and then put another one in if you'd like. Um, with the water, we can do two things. We can either put it in our gardens or in our house plants to uh, give the, those, uh, that plant life life, or we can use our water for our next activity. But we're gonna begin with our bottle that is not filled with water. And you're gonna take your permanent markers and you're gonna color all over your bottle however you want. So I'm gonna put a blue uh, lightning bolt here, like that. Um, and you can just decorate the entire thing however you want. Now you can use washable markers, however the washable markers will not stay on the plastic very long. So uh, if you wanna color your bottle over and over again, feel free to use a plastic or to use your washable markers. The permanent markers will have a little bit more stay power to them. And then after you're done with your uh, coloring, you're gonna fill up your bottle with some water. And I'm gonna use the water that I used for my flower. And I poured it in there. Now, if you look at the cap that you got, there's a tiny little hole on it. And you're gonna tie, tighten your cap really tightly. Um, you may even wanna ask your adults for help with that. And then you're gonna have water inside there, which may be a little bit colored from the paper and the flowers that you did. And if you want, you now have a water splasher. So you can do this and go outside with your adult's permission and splash each other, splash uh, your water, uh, your flowers all over your garden, um, or whatever you want with your water splasher to help uh, commemorate Sanskran. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Sanskran or um, Buddhism and Thailand, you can check out these books, Buddhism, Global Citizens, World Religion, Buddhism in Thailand, uh, Beliefs and Cultures of Buddhist, uh, Buddhism, Buddhist Temples, My Buddhist Year, Celebrations Around the World, and Holidays Around the World. Now, if you're interested in finding out ways that you as a young person can help the planet Earth, 
you can check out Earth Smarts, how to take care of the environment, how to help the earth by the Lorax, uh, protecting and preserving the environment, saving wildlife, and respect our world sustainability. So those are some of the books that you can check out to explore more about the topics we discussed today. You can pick up any of our grab and go activities at any one of our branches. That's Diamond Trail, Seaway Mall, and the main branch. Just give us a call ahead so we'll know to put it out for you. Um, at this time, you're not allowed to visit the library, but you can use your website with your adult's permission to put books on hold and we'll be able to give those to you curbside. If you have any questions, please give us a call or send us an email. And uh, I'm going to put a gem on Thailand so we remember that we visited over there. Oops, sticking to my finger. There we go. There's Thailand all covered up. And thank you for visiting again, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!